Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but I got a haircut. I have a little bit of my layers back now. And my hair is purple. I don't know if you can tell that. I can see it. So I assume you will be able to see it. Um, celebration month is over. We did it. 500 movies. I can't believe it. I hope you had a great time. Uh, I did. I was a little stressed, but I had a great time. <laughs> um, just wow, guys. I love it. I'm obsessed. And thank you so much. And let's, let's get back to the regular schedule. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Rip Girls. Rip Girls is a 2000 Disney Channel original movie. It's directed by Joyce Chopra, cinematography by David Egby, editing by Paulo Mastro, music by Phil Marshall, and it's written by Gene Rosenberg. Joyce Chopra is best known for Joyce at 34, an American Girl on the Home Front, Smooth Talk, and The Lemon Sisters. David Egby is best known for Dragon, Euro Trip, Pitch Black, and Mad Max. Paula Mastra, Phil Marshall, and Jean Rosenberg have all covered in previous videos that we listed and linked in the description. The film stars Camilla Bell, Dwyer Brown, Stacey Hess, Brian Stark, Jean Morey, and Lauren Sinclair. Camilla Bell plays Sydney and is best known for Push, 10,000 BC, When a Stranger Calls, and Practical Magic. Dwyer Brown plays Ben and is best known for The Cutting Edge, Red Dragon, To Live and Die in LA, and Field of Dreams. Stacey Hess plays Gia and is only known for this. Brian Stark plays Kona and is best known for Bar Mitzvah Bad, Speedway Junkie, Independent Lens, and Undressed. Jean Mori plays Malia and is best known for Mars Attacks, Real Genius, The Rookie, and Star Trek II The Search for Spock. Lauren Sinclair plays Elizabeth and she's best known for The Mystery of Spoon River, Duty Dating, Wing Commander Prophecy, and Face Off. They filmed in Australia instead of Hawaii and the film was relatively well received. There were a lot of critics that said it was clunky and kind of un had some unpolished acting, but the core of it was strong. And I do agree. There is a parent death, obviously, a huge part of the plot is that Sydney's mom passed away when she was young and she knows nothing about it and you learn more about it over the course of the film and the movie was very lovely it was cute I see what they mean where it was a little clunky it had a little bit of unpolished acting but that had like some added some real charm um, I think the continuity was atrocious there were so many blatant continuity errors it was kind of like honestly laughable there were many scenes where like sydney would be soaking wet and then it would cut to a shot from behind them and she'd be completely dry and then it'd cut back and she'd be wet and there was a scene where like uh dwyer had it didn't have his arm around camilla and then they cut to like not that different of a shot and his arm was around camilla like it was super obvious it was uh kind of painful um but you know Continuity is not that big of a deal. The story was, you know, very sweet and cute. Um, Sydney was very adorable. Um, what was my other... No, no, no. Dwyer, in the one scene where he starts to break down with Elizabeth, almost got me. He gave... That was a good performance. I really liked Dwyer like, acting for his life in that scene. Um, I really love that scene. That almost got me. And the movie almost got me a couple times. When, like when she finally asked about her mom. It was All of that was really good. And I enjoyed it. There were parts that I was like, this is very silly, but whatever. Overall, I thought this movie was very charming, very sweet. I had never seen it before. This is a decom. I, I feel like I hadn't seen any decom about surfing. So like Johnny Tsunami, this, like I just, I never watched the surfing ones, I guess. I don't know, but I do remember this. And like, I recalled that it was about surfing and I knew that Camilla Bell was in it. Um, but yeah, I had never seen it. So this was a fun experience to watch this movie for the first time. And uh, it was pretty decent. I feel like a lot of people rank this a lot lower than it necessarily should be. Also, I kept like telling people what Aubrey Page from Collider ranked these movies. And then I went and looked at her actual ranking. And um, she seems like really wonderful and she had some good opinions. And then there were some that I was like, why would you do this? Like she clumped a lot of the sequels together on just like, like the sequel, you know. The first film and its sequels would be like six, five, four, and I'd be like, "Why would you do that when those second two movies are nowhere near as good as some of these other movies?" So anyway, that's my opinion on the uh, Aubrey Page Clutter. Um, she she did a great job, and I like kudos to her for ranking all 100 of them at the time. That's amazing. Um, I hope to one day do that. I think that'd be really fun. But 
that's everything I have. First Disney video back in gear. I feel like it's a shorter one because there wasn't a lot of production information. Um, but it was cute. Highly, like, go watch it. It's on Disney+. Plus. Uh, that's everything. Our total movie count is... No, no, no. My final rating is six. I want to say surfboards, but I've done surfboards. I, snowboards. Whatever. Six. Let's do like lays. Six lays out of ten. Our total movie count is. <laughs> Our parent that's all is. <laughs> Cry count is still the same. If you'd like to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter to find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. Last month, well, it's still this month, technically, but uh, celebration month, um, every tier got access and some bonuses from the tier above it. It was a really fun time on Patreon. So go join Patreon. There's so much going on over there right now. It's a really good time. Go do it. Uh, buy merch. Uh, actually, I think when this comes out, you still have one more day to get the 500th merch. So you should do that because then it's gone forever. Uh, and yeah, okay, until next time, comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm not in charge of your life, you are, so you do you, and don't be... There's not really anyone, in... well, I guess, like, don't be the people, yeah, 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 don't be the people that want to develop land in Hawaii. Don't do that, don't be them. I've done it. The first video back. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it.